Today is the 7th of March and it's about 6 degrees and the girls have survived, looks like they've survived the winter and they're out um, going foraging yeah, they're definitely uh, busy around this time now I have three hives and I don't see any bees coming out of the other two so it looks like I have lost two of my hives there's this one and there's uh, no one coming out of this one and there's also this hive and there's no one no girls coming out of this one so it looks like I have one surviving hives that came through the winter so it looks like I'll have to uh, split this one at some point. The other box I have uh, is the Kenyan hive, and there was no, um, there's no bees in this one this year. This Kenyan hive, there's no bees in it this year, but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put some bees in it, uh, and get this one going as well so I'm gonna have <clears throat> I'm gonna have the three three uh, uh, long strop boxes the Kenyan or top bar uh, top bar hive but it's good I'm happy I'm happy living here in Canada it's uh, hard to get bees through winter so I'm happy these uh, these have survived and looks like they're extremely happy. They've found some food source somewhere. They're going out and coming in. Now I think it's uh, it may be the horse chestnut trees that they're going for. That's just the horse chestnut or conker tree, as they would say in in conker, as we call them in the UK. Um, the leaves are just uh, popping out now, and I think they're going there to get uh, um, pollen or some kind of nectar of those of those uh, young buds that's coming out. But yes, these ones are very busy.